Well, all new at six, she is the first lady of Worcester Polytech, the first woman to earn a degree at the school, and she did it when WPI was men only. Today, 86-year-old Audrey Carlin did what she didn't do 60 years ago. She walked across the commencement stage and received an honorary doctorate. And her pioneering story is as important now as it was in 1957. I didn't start out to set a precedent. I started out to get a master's degree. It was 1957, and Audrey Carlin was working with her husband at a Southbridge optics company. WPI offered courses to employees there. So she started working on a master's in physics at night. Oh, I love to learn. But WPI only admitted men. There were no women who were students, but they might have been in the bookkeeping offices. Since Audrey enrolled through her job, she got around the men-only rule. Professors were supportive, and she aced her studies. Uh, the only thing that we would need for me as a woman would be a restroom. To deal with that detail, Audrey had a sign and slapped it on the bathroom door when needed. It's now a women's room, huh? Today, she's back on campus for the first time in 60 years to walk across the graduation stage, something she didn't do in 1957 because she was about to have her first baby. I feel greatly honored. I really, really should do. Her career has been rich. A mathematician, scientist, an author, a pioneer. I didn't think of myself as a pioneer at the time. I was thinking that, yes, they will have women here soon. But it took another 11 years before women were accepted at the school. You just do your best, that's all. Whatever you are, don't, don't worry. Women, men, women can do the work. Wow. I love her story. Is she not the best? Yes, and she says, I love to learn, you know, and you can tell that she feels that way even now, that curiosity, that passion. I just hope that all of the people who were at commencement today, <laughs> by the way, graduation to uh, our congratulate congratulations <laughs> to all of you. Uh, I hope everyone got a moment to sort of just sit and think about what she has done and what she's accomplished. And she says, do your best. It's very, very cool. Great story. Love it. All right, let's